Today on Make and Drink, we're going to be making the House Without a Key Mai Tai from the House Without a Key restaurant and bar at the Holly Kalani Hotel in Waikiki. The House Without a Key is named after the first Charlie Chan novel, House Without a Key, from 1925 by author Earl Dare Biggers, who wrote the book while staying at Gray's by the Sea in Waikiki. Eventually, the owners of the Holly Kalani expanded and purchased the property at Gray's by the Sea, where the bar is located today. If you've never been to the Holly Kalani, it is old school, mid-century Hawaiian luxury resort, a place where flip-flops are allowed, but you may feel a little out of place, but still a great hotel. Today's recipe is sourced from the Holly Kalani Hotel, and you can find it on the altmanmaitai.com, and it is one of Kevin Crossman's favorite Mai Tai recipe variations. For this one, you'll need lime juice or jat, simple syrup, Cointreau, and a couple of rums. The rums called for are Bacardi Select, Bacardi Gold, and Lemon Heart. I don't have the Bacardi Select or Gold, so instead, I'll modify this to cover both of those rums with Bacardi 8. Both recipes will be in the episode's description. You're gonna build this in a small shaker tin with one and a quarter ounces of lime juice, a third an ounce of orgeat, half an ounce of a two to one simple syrup, third an ounce of Cointreau, and one and a half ounces of Bacardi 8. Add some ice to your tin and shake. Dump the drink into a rock glass. Top with more ice. And a half an ounce float of Lemon Heart 151. Garnish with some mint, the lime wheel, and an edible orchid. All right, the Holly Kalani Mai Tai. I have high hopes for this one. I don't know if I've had this before. It's been many years since I was at the Holly Kalani, and I don't know if I had a Mai Tai. So let's taste it and let's see if it's any good. Right off the bat, it's extra tart. Kind of like that. I think we should mix in our 151. If you look at the recipe, it should be good. But in the back of your mind, you're probably thinking it's a hotel, Waikiki. It's probably not going to be great. It's actually wonderful. This is an awesome Mai Tai. Now, their Bacardi's that they're going to use are going to be a little different than this for better or for worse, I don't know. But we have two ounces of rum total here, plus that 151, so we're bringing up the ABV. If you're looking at the recipe, you might have been thinking about the sweetness as well, a third ounce of orgeat, third ounce of rock candy syrup. My understanding of rock candy syrup is that it's a three to one simple syrup, which I don't have. So I use half an ounce of a two to one simple. That's where I thought maybe this would be too sweet, but we're using Cointreau, which is much drier than like Pierre Brand Dry Curacao. So you're getting less sweetness in your orange liqueur. So basically, don't sleep on the Holly Kalani Mai Tai. It's a great Mai Tai. If you look at the recipe, it all makes sense. There's some unique and different proportions there with a third of an ounce for Orgeat and a rock candy syrup and the orange Curacao, but it all works together extremely well. Very much in line uh, with the style of a 19, 44 Mai Tai, so it all makes sense. Play around with those rums if you want to. This is a welcome addition to any bar menu. It's a wonderful Mai Tai, and out of all of these sort of slight variations I've had, it, it's up there. It's one of the better Mai Tais that I've ever made. So let's put it on the Mai Tai board. In no particular order are all of the Mai Tais so far during Mai Tai month. And at the end of Mai Tai month, I'll go through and rank them all. If you enjoyed this video, uh, give it a like below, consider subscribing to the channel. Otherwise, see you on the next one.